is a, a motion simulator. This plate is one of three simulators you're going to see today. Uh, some of the simulators can show us hills and bumps. But this one only does bumps. So we're going to focus on the high frequency stuff here. And uh, this is set up. Uh, Tony's got this set up so that while normally we would play uh, road profiles that we had gathered out on the road, you know, these measurements, and play them back here. Uh, mounted on this is our actuator, and then the moving element would be attached to the, uh, you know, to the seat. But right now, Tony has this program so that it's rigid. So this is back in the day before the air ride seat. It's, it's like your car when, when uh, you have just a rigid seat attached to the floor. So what we would expect is when this floor moves, is that the seat moves exactly the same way. That's how it's programmed to start with. And uh, in order to address the issue, we don't know what bump is coming next. Instead of recording a road profile that we've already seen, uh, Tony's made up this special interface, sort of borrowed from the Wii. How many of you know what the Wii is? Okay. So that you know that we don't know what the next bump is going to be. We're going to let one of you be the villain and make a road for us right here in real time. And your task, can you put our driver up here? The task is going to be to ruin his day. Would someone like to volunteer for that one? <laughs> Looking for I'll volunteer. Okay. Thank you. Want me to take your picture volunteer? Sure, why not? <laughs> so I'm supposed to get him off of the off of the just make him really uncomfortable. You know, shake him hard. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure why he's still smiling. But <laughs> okay, stay here because I'm going to have you. What, what Tony's going to do now is he's going to turn on the algorithms. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be a big change here because it's taken us decades uh, to work on these programs. Remember, our, our task is to hold the driver motionless mm -hmm. no matter what you throw at him mm -hmm. or what the road throws at him. So can you turn that on? And okay, now we're going to have the Bose algorithms running. And it's Tim, right? Right. Go ahead. Make them miserable. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm yeah. glad I asked you to help. <laughs> that was very good. Now, you notice there was, there was a little bit of <laughs> slow motion there. He wasn't completely motionless. And that's because some of Tim's motions were big enough that you know, the, the algorithm was sensing that we're starting to go up and down hills, and so it does start to move. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to we're going to actually show you more about hills in a minute and how that works. Uh, we talked about let's see speed, precision, fit. The last thing is power. And in order to manage a big truck driver and be able to move very fast at the same time requires a, you know, a lot of power. And that's why everything in this lab is big. Uh, Actually, this is a motion simulator that you're looking at. And on top of it are two of our suspension bases, just like you saw up here. And then on top of the suspension base are two very different drivers, or two weights that represent those drivers. Um, a little more about this simulator. Uh, this thing is nicknamed the hexapod because it can move in all six degrees of freedom. And it can move a lot. So we're able to take uh, road profiles from all over the country and play them back on this device. And that really helped us, we bought this a few years ago, to accelerate our, our uh, product development. So we wouldn't have to go out and do these tests on location in the truck. That's why we originally, but it's going to come in handy today because what we're going to do is show you um, the bumps and the hills, and then we're going to put them together like a real road and have both bumps and hills at the same time. Uh, to start with, uh, Chris is going to play uh, just a bumpy, think of almost like a washboard road. And so we're just going to have bumps at first. And what I'd like you to watch for is that is the difference, how much we've reduced the vibration that's reaching these two drivers, even though the task is very different because they they weigh a lot more, their weights are very different. Chris, can you fire that up?
notice the uh, difference between the vi vibration of the floor and the driver, and also how the two are doing the same thing, which is just about nothing. In fact, the amount of vibration that we're taking out is about 90%. So it's about a 10 to 1 reduction. We also talked about hills. And remember our goal? We don't want the driver leaving the truck, so he, he needs to follow the truck floor over hills. So we expect these two to behave the same way, even though they're very different weights, and follow the truck. And now when we put it all together, we have both hills and bumps. This is more like a real road. And the goal is going to be to not follow all those bumps, and not shake the driver, but still follow the truck floor.